uh, uncommon and rare case uh, of uh, fetal echo. Uh, this is 25 years uh, female who <coughs> presented to us for a fetal echo as a routine scan uh, at 20 weeks of gestation. What we found was the right ventricle was smaller than the left ventricle. The right atrium, left atrium were fine, but the only the right ventricle was smaller than the left ventricle. And you can notice the inflow to the right ventricle is smaller than the inflow into the left ventricle. And that's another view which, uh, you know, I use it quite commonly. That's a sagittal view of the heart which cuts the LV and RV in a cross section kind. And then you can see in a left ventricle and then you see a saucer shaped right ventricle anterior and this is posterior towards the spine. And this again shows that the size of the right ventricle is smaller than the, right, uh, the size of the left ventricle. Show you the clips of uh, the same case that's a, a pica lateral view where this is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle and you can see there the right ventricle stops quite short of the, the, the apex and the cavity is smaller, right? And you see a mild pericardial fusion around that uh, chamber which is hypoplastic. Now you see the same flow in the right ventricle. Right ventricle shows a reduced inflow signals this red ones while the left ventricle shows a normal flow signals and again the right ventricle stops short quite before the cardiac uh, apex. Uh, another view you see this is the right ventricle outflow tract we are trying to prove that right ventricular inflow tract is absolutely normal the inflow signals are fine the tricuspid valve is normal the outflow signals are fine the pulmonary valve is fine pulmonary artery is also of adequate size so what are the kind of things what we can think of but i thought of uh, uh, isolated right ventricle hypoplasia and uh, i'm going to take you through that what happens in uh, right ventricle hypoplasia? Normally, you have an inflow of the right ventricle. You have a trabecular portion and which forms the apex of the right ventricle. And then you have an outflow. All these are uh, have a different embryological uh, origin. So now in the if the RV inflow is normal, in this case, it was slightly smaller than the the, the tricuspid valve annulus was slightly smaller than the mitral valve annulus. The right ventricular outflow was normal and we have a trabecular portion of the right ventricle which forms the apex is actually missing or hypoplastic. Uh, this case has been reported long back. The very first case was reported in 1990 by uh, Dental Kule and uh, that was on the surgical uh, table. This is the patient which was shown in 1971 on an angiogram and you can see on an angiogram there is the right ventricle which is marked by an arrow is actually absent. The, the, there is no apex. The, the apex forming right ventricle is gone. You have a right uh, atrial injection. Then you have this portion of the right ventricle intact but the apex of the right ventricle which should have come here is absent. We have many causes for a smaller right ventricle that becomes a differential diagnosis here. Now differential diagnosis one is that you have a pulmonary atresia. You have a pulmonary artery which is smaller leads to a smaller right ventricle but that was not the case in this case. There was pulmonary artery which was absolutely of adequate size tricuspid atresia. Now in the tricuspid atresia, the tricuspid valve is atretic, the inflow is abnormal. Once you have an abnormal inflow, then the right ventricle becomes smaller. It could be very small uh, in case there is no VSD or it could be a smaller size in case it's associated with a VSD. 
uh, whole ab uh, abnormality is quite uncommon and that uh, causes a parchment like uh, thinning of the right uh, ventricular wall <clears throat> but usually the right ventricle dilates rather than becoming small but small right ventricle has been described and then the last case which was the case in our this thing was isolated right ventricular hypoplasia these are some pics which we took from the literature showing a right ventricular hypoplasia that's an adult echocardiogram showing rv hypoplasia this is uh, an mri which showing right ventricle being hypoplastic <coughs> Now, uh, there uh, has been a, a review of about uh, 54 patients, which uh, they, they were all case reports in the literature. In those 54 patients, they, they saw that uh, they, it was associated with one fourth of the patients had a family history of cardiomyopathy. So that means it was genetic, genetic in origin. Uh, about uh, close to all patients had uh, either PFO or you know ASD that is uh, uh, not a fetal series that's a pediatric and adult series <clears throat> now about half of the patients underwent some kind of surgery that means the rest half had uh, a kind of uh, okay uh, uh, outcome like in our case the RV size is not too small the outcome in our case is quite fine. Uh, it had an excellent prognosis. 20% unfortunately died in case the right ventricle was too small. So guys, I'll keep uh, posting uh, new and new rare uh, cases for your this thing. This is important for you to have a kind of a pattern recognition. Uh, so that once you see this kind of case, you can that immediately clicks in your mind. I've seen it somewhere and this is what the diagnosis is. <clears throat> it's a good idea actually to subscribe the channel because whenever I put a new case, you would immediately get notified. Thank you. Bye.